Chef You I'm not gonna do this, dude. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chef You Whack. And today is a special episode, as you can tell, because it is Cinco de Mayo! The most celebrated Mexican holiday that's not really celebrated in Mexico. <laughs> Since it still technically is a Mexican holiday, why not do the Mexican here herself somber and her conchas recipe? So I've heard that this recipe is extremely hard to make, especially if you're white, so we're off to a bad start. But no matter! Cause we're the number one chef in this household! We're also the only chef, but still the number one chef. And the first thing that this recipe calls for is one cup of warm milk. Now, I can easily stick it in the microwave, but that's not what a professional chef would do. They would actually boil it on the stove top. Oh sh So once you actually get uh, the warm milk boiled, we're gonna pour it in a large mixing bowl. We also need one third cup of butter. Crap, it was warm butter. Uh, we're gonna boil this back into the uh, boiler for, I don't know, 20, I mean, boil it, now it might. There we have some melted butter. We taste for seasoning, of course. So, I don't know if sugar's supposed to do this. This looks like math. Boom, change of scenery. So I got this little jar of active dry yeast now because I think that's what the professionals use since they use more than a, Ooh, I was wondering what like exactly yeast is. My girl had it one time. She was very scared, I don't know why. So we just add two tablespoons, two tablespoons, two tablespoons. Oh shoot, it said two teaspoons! I had the same problem last week with the salt! <laughs> Wait, two teaspoons of active dry yeast infection! <laughs> Alright, now that we're done having our episode while making an episode, we're gonna let our yeast just bloom, eat up all that sugar, and then pour our saturated goodness. And it's every Genji Maid's favorite part of every single Chef You Whack episode, the salt, but it's just a pinch. This is like, like a tiny, hey, can you maybe heal me please, Mershi? One more pinch in there. I need a healing. Followed by an egg. Now you think I'm probably gonna crack this in my hand, and you're wrong. It's just going straight into the bowl. And then we just stir it like we have nothing else to do for the rest of the day, which we don't. Like, this is all I have going on. Besides, you know, <laughs> dealing with my depression. All right, boys, so <laughs> next we have the flour. Now I gotta say something to all the monkeys that are hoarding all the flour. Stop! You guys don't have a cooking show online. I mean, I barely do, but I need the flour. I can never get flour right. I always try to gradually add it, and then I pour it all in once, and it's Turns out like trash. We're just gonna pray that this works because I'm tired of failing in front of y'all. And then we get two cups in here, please. I'm running out of flour. I can't redo this. And I thought hoarding toilet paper was bad. Like flour we actually use to eat things. All right, and we're in too deep now. We're some 41. Is there some 40 before some 41? I wish I had a stand mixer because this sucks. Best chef online, and I'm still stirring things by hand. Why did it come be attached? Get in there, another half a cup. <laughs> I feel like this has been off center for the whole entire time. But a spoon can't do the job that you needed to do. You just gotta use what Jeff Captain gave you, your hands. I feel like this isn't hydrated. Like, look at this. It's still, it's, there's still stuff in there. Just get in the dough. Oh my God, how do abuelas do this? Now I can see why every Mexican grandma wants you to eat their cooking. They spend six hours needing that. All right, you know what? You're getting you need it on the table. You know, I wish they gave exact times as how long you should need it. They just say several minutes. Is that seven? Is that 17? Or is that even minutes? It is minutes, but it could be 70, 100 minutes. Oh my God. I've been doing this for two minutes and I'm dead. These contrasts better be worth it, cause my God. You know what I've always wondered? Who that girl was in the Soldier 76 cinematic? It wasn't Sombra, but you can think it's Sombra. All right, my boys, I think that'll do it for our little ball of dough. It says it should bounce back after you poke it. Oh my God, it bounced back. I'm so happy. <laughs> Get in there. Bane my existence. Freaking. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done. Okay. 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 You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. All right, then we have to place it somewhere warm for an hour, and what better warm place than outside in the Arizona sun? Oh my God, just a little sun and take off the edge. This is just apple juice. While well, the dough is rising, you can make your sugar paste. Can I, can I please make the sugar paste sombra? You know what I just hate about this cookbook? Is that it just assumes I have tons of mixing bowls at my disposal. Oh, you can use one to rise your dough. You can use another one to make the sugar paste. You can use another one to stop communism. What do you think this is, a sponsored cooking show? This is what I have, sombra. 
bro. It's your time to shine. Let's again get in there, boy. I just don't understand why we can't add more than a one half teaspoon of vanilla. It's such a beautiful ingredient. I'm gonna take a butter that's sort of like my heart, very soft and full of fatty acids. Can you shut up out there? And since Sombra just can't get enough of me, where's my half cup? We're gonna add some more flour, even though we're rationing. It's just not working out very well. Ah! Half this spoon, we're gonna get our hands in there nice and, ooh, yeah, that's working out nice. Half the spoons, F every single cooking instrument. Your hands are the best instrument for not only cooking, but joking. Mm. You see what happens when you use your hands? You get a nice little ball of butter. Half a spoon. All right, boys, Yay! we got the sugar paste. Not really a paste, it's more like a, a pudge. Boom, different side angle. Angle top, let's roll this boy out. Bruh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bruh. Oh, dude, I don't even roll this out. Hold on a second, I'll skip the fun part. We get some purple food coloring, because Sombra's purple, and we're making like the purple icing. Okay, I'll shut up. So we just do one, two, tree. This is what we call a trace. Crap, what's purple in Spanish? Hey, Siri, what's purple in Spanish? It's Trace Marado! He's white! You know, thinking about this earlier, why wouldn't I do this when I'm mixing the ingredients, Sombra? So after you stain your hands indefinitely, but got a purple ball, then you roll it out! Oh yeah, oh, that's looking nice. I said, would you like more tamales? So we're gonna take that same cup that you used to drink apple juice and make some circular, oh crap, the apple juice is still there. So when you get one of your two cups that you have to cut out the things, then we cut out the, the things. Uh, uh, uh. Boom, five circular discs. This is supposed to make 12. <laughs> please, ma'am, please. Oh. Okay, stay calm, it's okay. I have an idea. We get some parchment paper, duh. Dude, I can't get this thing to not break. Gee. I'm gonna, I'm gonna legit cry. I think I figured out the problem. The whole entire theme of this episode is using stupid instrument kitchens that we don't need. We need to roll it out with our hands. And boom, there we go, a flat surface. Mexican grandmas had to use something before rolling pins were invented. We don't need no rolling pin. We don't need no spoon. We don't even need a spatula. But SpongeBob would be mad at us if we didn't use it. So, Sombra, you can eat my nuts all talking about you need to roll it out. We're gonna score these bad girls now. I can do some like cute design like they do right here with little swirls. I'm gonna try to do the Sama Sugar School logo. So here's a reference right here. So we're just gonna, little booparoonies right here. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Look at how beautiful <laughs> that is. Then we're gonna do top 500, the only time that we're actually gonna get top 500. <laughs> so there we have it, boys and girls. Some Sugar School, some stupid lines, something that you're never gonna get. Sombra's name, bro, you wag. That's a beautiful assortment of sugar cookie paste. Thingies. We still have like 30 minutes left. One pair of pants later. Oh my god! This boy doubled in size, alright? And then. There we go. So we need to cut this boy into 12 even parts, so. That actually didn't hurt. I got eight little toppers, and I think I got enough for eight even bowls. So, Summer, I don't know how big your bowls are, but mine are massive. <laughs> now that we're done lying, let's roll these into balls. So, it actually says to fold over, like, what? Like this? Like, do we fold it over and make it like a little dumpling? Okay, well, there's one. It's not pinching together. What the fudge are you doing? I just feel like these balls are too big. Pause, but <laughs> that's why your shoe's raggedy. That's why your mama did. Where is my Michelangelo? There it is. So then we're gonna become Picasso a little bit and just kinda hydrate these a little bit. All right, time for the sugar paste for- No! No, don't break, please do not break. I swear to God, if you break, I'm gonna cry. Bro, you whack one, of course this one's perfect. You go on that one. Ah! And there we go, mis amigos, some pre-risen conchas. Now we gotta wait 30 freaking minutes. In the meantime, let's set this bad boy. I don't know how to preheat this up. <laughs> Be like Mr. Krabs with these claws. All right, well, the sun is doing a weird sort of thing. Uh, we're gonna get these conchas in. We got a problem. Um, <laughs> our balls grew. I wish mine would grow in real life. What is the sun doing? We're gonna put one to the side right there. We're gonna put our other ones right there. And so I had leftover dough, so I thought I would just make one giant concha with <laughs> a little nipple of sugar paste. All right, then into the thing. She's ready. 
All right, so we take our little Krabby Patty bits, Krabby, uh, whatever. All I know is, oh, we got some beautiful gotcha. They kind of broke, but that's okay. There's beauty in destruction. God, look at our big gotcha. <laughs> what is happening? So we're just gonna get these young whippersnappers onto the cooling rack. Now, any single time I make a pastry of any kind, I always say the best thing to drink along with it is some chocolate milk, but we're not gonna be making chocolate milk today. Oh, look at that beautiful purple milk. I'm so stupid. These might have broken a little bit, but we all have broken hearts and it's okay, but they look almost exactly like the picture. Boys, here is our Sombra Conchas. These are so beautiful. Let's break into these and ruin their lives. So, I have the same problem with my Winston pizza. It's a little bit too doughy. <laughs> like, it's good, but it's it's very bready, and there's only a little bit of icing. But the recipe only managed to barely make eight, and like, even that is too thin. Like, they're not all bad, but they're just, it's, it's just bread. <laughs> it's all just summer milk. It's just regular milk. Let's try our big concha real quick. <laughs> If the other ones weren't doughy enough, this definitely was. <laughs> I mean, are these better than your abuelas conchas? Obviously. Like, nobody can make them better than an average suburban white kid compared to a traditional Mexican mother whose heritage basically spawned these. <laughs> are they good? Yeah. Would I ever make these again? Probably not. Happy Cinco de Mayo! To everyone who's gonna be going out and drinking, why? You need to stay home, you need to wash your hands, you're gonna get all of us in trouble, we're not gonna be able to get recess next week. But I love you guys, thank you guys for watching. Chefy Web will be continuing every single Friday, just not this Friday. I've just been busy, in case you guys couldn't guess what I've been doing. Uh, but they will be coming back at your regular scheduled program. I love you guys, and bye.